guys, how's it going? It's me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do what's all videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So as you might be able to see, and probably read in the title, I have gotten the 50-pound denim box again. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite rescue boxes. Um, I've mentioned one of probably only two I'll be getting in the future um, because I still think that they're worth it. I like this one and I like the DIY designer one. Uh, so I'm gonna try and get through this pretty quickly. I'm gonna do both boxes today. These came from Pennsylvania. Uh, I was actually surprised when I saw that they were coming from Pennsylvania because 90% of my boxes come from Arizona. I was excited to see that they were coming from Pennsylvania to see if there are any different from the ones I've been getting from Arizona. They also sent it in two boxes, which I don't think I've ever received my denim 50 pounds in two boxes. I do know one of these at least weighs 27 pounds. I don't know about the other because there's only shipping information for one box. I know there's a 30 pound box, but I prefer the 50 pound. Um, they used to be 50 pounds for $60. Now they're 50 pounds for $50. And since I spent so much there last year, I'm actually like a VIP member. So I get free shipping over like $30 um, and this cost $50. And I had some shopping credit from selling on there, I think like $8. For the purposes of this video, we'll just say everything in here costs $50. My hope for these boxes, cause they also haven't been like the best of the best. Recently, I've gotten really good ones in the past. They always usually turn a pretty good profit for me, um, but I'm hoping to at least get 10 pairs that I'm really excited about. Often you can get one pair in here that will pay for the whole box. So, you know, that's always good. Um, but 10 pairs for $50, that's $5 a pair. And that's way cheaper than my Goodwill prices. So. And I love to sell denim. I know not everyone does, but that's why I like these boxes because I love denim so much. You can get jeans in here. It's mostly jeans, but you can get dresses, men's kids, um, and jackets occasionally and shirts occasionally, occasionally. So we're starting with a pair of Levi's cute light, light wash Levi's. Um, if I don't end up selling um, Levi's as they are, I tend to collect them. And then once I have like five or six, I will turn them into cut off shorts and sell them for the summer. Um, but these seem to be pretty trendy in a really nice wash. Sorry, I'm going to be probably hitting that box the whole time. Um, but cute. So these are the high loose. I haven't heard about those but I'm guessing that's a high rise loose fit pair, which is a very trendy style. They're size 30, which is a great size. Um, Levi's capital E, um, which tends to mean that it's part of their Levi's premium quality line. Um, but vintage pairs with a capital E can actually get you tons of money. So I don't know too much about that, but I know to keep an eye out for them at the very least. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna sell those probably as they are. Um, hopefully I'll notice flaws, but a lot of the times I don't notice flaws until I'm taking photos. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, so this is a pair of Pac Sun jeans. They're a size, size 27 and they're the high rise straight. So I've been picking up quite a few pairs of Pac Sun jeans at the bins, but they haven't been doing awesome for me. Might be a good style. They have the button fly. I like this like double color thing and the distressing it has it on the back pockets. I'll probably attempt to sell these myself, um, but if they don't sell for me, I am almost positive pack or pack some Plato's Closet will take these because every time I'm shopping there, they have tons and tons and tons of like pack Sun, American Eagle, and BDG, BDG, I always say that weird, which is an Urban Outfitters house brand there. These are fun. These are like a cargo style. Oh, okay. So this is, I can read it on the button. It says John Galt. John Galt is like Brandy Melville. And they do make cute, trendy stuff, and I do okay selling their stuff. Um, I don't often find their jeans, but again, this is a brand I see a lot at my Plato's Closet, and they do price up. So that kind of tells me that people are interested in um, their pieces. And a lot of the times when I find Brandy Melville or John Galt at the bins, I try to sell it myself, and I usually do okay with it, um, but I do think... Again, I will attempt to sell these myself, and if not, they can go to um, Plato's Closet. And they're a size small, so I'll have to take measurements, and I'll probably list them whatever the moist measurement is. Um, but yeah, these were a fun cargo, like, loose fit. All right, just like I was talking about, BDG, which is an Urban Outfitters house brand. 
Um, these are like a gray skinny jean. Nothing crazy. I don't know if Cleo's Closet will take these just because they're so interesting, kind of like outdated even. Um, I don't see a size. These are the mid-rise twig. I don't see a size. These will probably try and take to Cleo's Closet because I already have stuff going there. Um, I'm not quite sure if they, I've heard some people say that they will take stuff without sizes, but I've never even brought stuff to my Plato's closet because they get so much stuff in all the time. All right, Hollister, size seven short. Um, when I list Hollister, I always list it by the waist measurement. So I list these as a 28. So I can list them in the women's section and not the junior section. But these are a pair, I don't know if you can see it, skinny distressed black jeans. These are decently cute. Um, I might attempt to sell these myself and then again, probably bring it to Plato's Closet if not. They're the high rise, super skinny. Um, I personally have been looking for like a skinny pair of jeans um, in black that are distressed. So I feel like this can still be a trendy like going out look for people. I think this is Coldwater Creek. It's very worn off. They are size 14. Um, but these I'm gonna pass on. Way back when, when I used to get these, like even in 2020, I think is when I kind of first started getting these, um, I would try and sell as many jeans as I can. I would probably even list these because they're in good condition. But where I'm at now, I'm trying to just list things that excite me. Otherwise they end up just staying in my closet forever and make me angry. Uh, so I'll probably just redonate these or Sometimes I keep jeans um, in good condition to the side and I will donate them to homeless shelters um, because they are looking for good quality clothing. <laughs> Another pair of BDG jeans. I'm wondering if these are all the same persons. I was not keeping track of what sizes. Oh, so these are a mom jean, which is a great style. This is a size 27 and these are in a black wash. I really like black wash jeans. Um, I don't know how trendy they are still but I know last year they were pretty trendy. Um, these I'll probably try and sell myself. I know I said I do really poorly <laughs> selling BDG, but I think those are cute. So these are a men's pack sun. These are in black. These I think I will take to Plato's Closet because they're always looking for men's clothing. They are a slim taper jean and they are in a smaller size, a 29, 30. Usually I do sell the men's jeans I get in here, but I don't know. I have a lot of men's jeans that aren't moving. So this is just H&M, really hard to read because it's black on black and it's a size large and it's a denim button up top with like hidden buttons. Um, that's what they look like. I don't know if this is a woman's or a men's. I think this might be, I don't know, the style looks like an oversized woman's shirt, but like sizing wise, this is definitely would be like more of a men's large. I think I'll bring that to Plato's closet. All right, we got a pair of Wrangler jeans. It says Wrangler, Wrangler. I feel like I'm saying that really weird. Uh, authentics, they're a size 33, 30. So a men's pair of jeans. Sometimes I'll turn Wranglers into um, cut off shorts, but these I think I'll keep as is. They seem to be in pretty good condition. That is one thing I'll say. My Arizona jeans are like rarely ever in good condition. Uh, and the patch isn't like cute enough to make into cut off shorts, I feel like, and neither is the wash. Sometimes um, some of their older pairs have a really cute vintage leather patch on the pocket. And I have sold those before in cutoffs and they do really well. Usually I decide to make cut off shorts based on the wash and the back of the pockets. All right, so this is an express jean, definitely older. Also men's, these are 2832. So again, a smaller men's size. Not sure what I'll do with these. I might end up donating these. All right, got a pair of Lucky Brand, which I feel like I'm always getting in these boxes. Lucky Brand, these are the 221 Original Straight. These seem to be a newer one. There's no date, a newer style. I get a lot of vintage, or not vintage, just older. Lucky brand jeans in these. Oh, I think these are men's. Oh, cool. So these are 36, 32. I've actually done really well with lucky brand men's jeans that I've gotten in these boxes. Um, so I am excited to sell these. I got a great pair of like 
size 40 something lucky brand men's jeans once and got two pairs and they sold really really well another denim shirt i haven't heard of this this is guide series and it's an extra large kind of seems a little bit older just from the fabric tag i believe this is a woman's one of those snap up button shirts they're not like pearlescent i know my lighting is very rough but they're kind of shiny and interesting um usually i would probably sell something like this because people do like this style but the arms are like really short it just feels kind of outdated so i might just think about that these look interesting old navy boot cut let's see men's or women's men's 34.32. I do okay selling men's old navy jeans. I think these might be a little bit older though. They do seem to be in good condition, but they feel a little bit thin. Not like from wash, but just from like, I like guess the way they used to make them. They're from 2012. So I think I'm gonna pass on these. DK and Y jeans, also men's. Well, a lot of men's in this box. Again, 36 by 32. Maybe somebody grew out of their jeans. I can't even button them. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and try and button them because I know I'm not gonna sell them. <laughs> Again, they kind of just feel like, I don't know. I don't want to explain it, kind of starchy. <laughs> Another button up shirt. This is Forever 21 men size small. I actually do well with men's size, like small and extra small. Short sleeve, that's appropriate for the season. It's kind of cute, but um, I'm going to give that to Plato's Closet. I don't know if they're pretty inclusive with men's sizing or not, or if they only take bigger sizes. All right, Armani jeans, say size 31. So I don't know if these are men's, oh, length 32. I'm gonna guess these are men's. It says J05 and they're the regular fit. And it has all the information over there. Armani jeans can do okay. Um, I've sold, one time I sold a really busted um, jean jacket that I got in one of these boxes. The armpits were like, holes and i sold that thing for 60 dollars. i don't know what i was thinking <laughs> i don't know who bought that but yeah it's not that kind of brand that people would buy even all messed up but these are actually in really good shape they even have the little logo there on the pocket they're a little bit wrinkled and i'll just have to make sure they haven't been like rehemmed or anything because the bottoms look a little funky but no i think that was purposeful because this is bright blue stitching all throughout and then on the cuff too so yeah, I'll probably sell those. Usually like when brands are expensive retail um, and they don't resell well in women's clothing, sometimes they can actually do pretty well for me in men's clothing. All right, we got ooh, another pair of, I think newer Levi's. These are the high waist tapered size 32. So again, a really good size. Maybe I'll try these on. <laughs> I don't know what a 32 is in women's jeans. But yeah, this is a really nice pair of like summer jeans. All right, this is a pair of older Gap jeans. They're a 29 regular and they're the real straight. So at least a good style. These have the first flaw that I've noticed in person. A little stain on the pockets. These seem to be kind of like older and the waistband's all crumply. <laughs> and these are from 2017, so not terrible, but See the waist is like all bent up. That's probably an easy fix. I just, I don't know. I think I'll pass on those. Same exact pair of jeans. So I could lot them up um, and sell them. It's funny to me when people buy the same exact pair of jeans. I wonder if these are the same size. These are 25. Someone remind me of that pair. I just put down <laughs> what size they were. Um, I'll think about lotting them together and selling them, but I again might just redonate them. This is the last pair in this box. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is the brand that if I'm, when I think about like getting these boxes, I'm always hoping for. My absolute favorite brand to resell, especially when it comes to denim. They're a Goldie, size 27. They're called the 90s jean. They always have a nice style code. Um, they are a button fly and high rise. I think they didn't take them because I don't know if that's intentional. They very well could be intentional like this, but I will sell them even with these big blowouts. Some jeans are styled this way. So even if this jean wasn't supposed to be like completely destroyed like that, like there are cer certain styles of jeans that are meant to be like full knee blowouts. Um, and yeah, 
They smell really good. <laughs> and again, I mean, worse comes worse. I guess at least to put his closet. All right, that was the first half. And I will say that's gonna be hard to beat. <laughs> this is my huge hydro flask I got from work. And then I got this straw cap on Amazon. So I don't have to lift it up <laughs> all the time. But yeah, so that box was technically $25. I have more than made my money back. All right, so we got our first probably big, not great piece. I was gonna say big loser piece, but I don't wanna be rude. Um, this is Request Jeans, size five or 27. Um, I will be selling a lot of denim shorts. These just will not be one of them. I don't, I'm not a big fan of all this. I mean, unless I know it's like Miss Me or a good brand like that. I just, I don't like those. So these might be vintage it says there are 14 regular yeah these are kids um basic editions 14 regular relax um they would be a really cute actually small pair of women's jeans these are very black um getting washed out in the camera um but i'm gonna probably skip on these i do sell kids stuff but like just really cute kids stuff or like brands that i know and i like this is American Eagle Outfitters. This is their older label. Their newer label just says American Eagle. Um, this is the wide leg crop. I think they might actually own this pair of jeans, if I'm being completely honest. I buy a lot of American Eagle jeans. This is a very light wash. So this will be nice for the summer. Button fly, size eight short. I don't mind selling shorts and longs, especially in American Eagle, because people usually know their sizing in American Eagle. Um, so I'll probably sell these myself. Banana Republic Factory, size four petite. I do not like to sell petites. I don't think I've ever sold anything petite that I've ever had in my closet. So these are a no, especially because it's Banana Republic and Banana Republic Factory, making it even less valuable. Just, it's a no for me. This is, I think, a men's, another pair of men's jeans. These are the Old Navy Slim with built-in flex, but they're like, Kind of like fleece lined. It's not fleece, but it's like very soft cotton. And oh, it's like that all the way through. I wish these were my husband's size. I think he would like these a lot. They're very soft. They're from winter of 18. So I'm sure this is some sort of like insulation, ins insulation, installation. <laughs> I can't talk. Uh, material to keep you warm um, in the winter, but I know we're moving out of winter, but I'm sure someone probably likes this style enough to buy it now and keep it for then. All right, <laughs> only be straight. I think these are men's as well. Yep, 30 by 32. They smell like that pair. These two definitely came from the same place. I do like these sort of classic looking boys jeans, men's jeans <laughs> that are a dark wash with like the gold stitching on them. Um, I might list these. I'm kind of biased because I think Old Navy makes really good jeans. Um, and I feel like men especially might be willing to pay up for these. These are super outdated. Blue spice size zero. Distressed knee blowout <laughs> jeans. These are no jean jacket. Gap stretch. I do like to sell gap. Um, it's a size extra small. I usually sell the jean jackets in these as long as they're like a decent brand. I prefer more jean jackets that are like this, like a little bit more trendy, like oversized and a little bit longer. I feel like the cropped ones aren't as trendy anymore. Um, I don't see the tag on the inside, but these are a Talbot's jeans. I could read it on the button. And they don't have a size. These are a no. I, just like I hate H&M, I do not like Talbot's. Okay, these don't feel good, but I've never heard of this brand before. It's Work Custom Jeans. They're very small. They're like an army green, cargo distressed, Hair. I wonder if these are actually custom. They're size 24, so small. I'll look these up. These are a, a maybe. They have the logo on the back and it says work and then it has that patch. I mean, again, they don't feel high quality. They're a little bit heavy, but we'll see. It's honestly not a terrible style um, because I sell a lot of army green things. I usually always use that terminology, army green or fatigue green for people that like to wear that stuff because um, their spouses are in the military or they're in the military and they just really like to wear that color. Um, these are a pair of kids, the children's place, straight size 2T. 
I don't really have a Once Upon a Child near me. I think there's one in Vancouver, which isn't too far, but further than I'm willing to go <laughs> at this moment to sell its clothes to somebody. Cause I don't imagine that they'd give me that much to begin with, maybe like a dollar. This is a pair of really soft, again, blown out holes, uh, Zara overalls, shorts. I saw the Zara on the buttons. Let's see if I see a size. They're a size small. Um, these, I don't know if they're supposed to be blown out like that, but I will probably attempt to sell them anyway. People really do like overalls. This is cute. I like skirts. I know people hate skirts. I like skirts. I think this is cute. <laughs> Little back pockets. I don't know if Plato's Closet would buy jean skirts for me because every time I go and they're having clearance stuff, it's always racks and racks and racks of jean skirts, um, which is probably a sign that people don't want them, but I think these are cute. They're uh, ultra high rise. They are size zero, but I mentioned this a lot that brands like Hollister, American Eagle, Abercrombie & Fitch, stuff like that, um, the audience for those clothing pieces are, or tend to be, um, young women, teenagers, and they are smaller sizes a lot of the time. Another pair of Gap Kids jeans, size three year. Really cute, but not for me. So these are Gap, um, legging jeans, size extra large. These honestly, there's some pulling in the front, isn't there? It's hard to see in this lighting, but there's some pulling um, and kind of fading, but like jegging jeans in a bigger size or just those pull on ones um, that don't have the button or zip or anything do really well for me again in bigger sizes. I'm not going to get a lot for them, but they usually sell really, really quickly if I list them at like 15, but these have a little bit too much wear, I think, to sell them myself. This is Gap Denim. No, they're just a very small pair of girls. They're 24 true skinny. These are kind of cute though. I don't know, I like that stripe. Is that not cute? I like the how they feel. They feel really nice. I might attempt to sell these myself. They have the raw hem. Hopefully I can find a cute model photo for them um, or send them in to Plato's Closet. Got some shorts in here. These are pretty cute. These are Gap Denim. A lot of gap in this box. They're 20, size 25 and they're a th three inch short, which usually is talking about the inseam, but I'll usually, every time I list jeans, I always include the rise and the inseam. I used to include the waist, but I don't anymore because waist measurements have never, ever, ever been a problem for me. I've never had someone be like, these aren't my size, da da da, break me badly. <laughs> But when I used to include waist measurements, I would constantly get comments. Like if these were a, what I say, 25, and the waist measured like a 26, people would be like, but they, they're listed as 25, but the size says 25. And I'm like, yeah, but the measurement says 26. I don't know what to tell you. So I just don't include them anymore. <laughs> and yeah, if someone asks, I will, um, but I just don't because it just caused more problems than needed to be. But these are cute. Speaking of cutoffs, I'm sure someone made these themselves, but these are adorable. Um, saved me the work of having to do it, to be completely honest. These are 501, which is amazing. Very popular style, size 26. Again, that Levi's quality, um, which has the capital Lee on the back. Perfect, perfect, perfect for the summer. These, if I were to have made these, I would have made the inseam a little bit longer. I usually make it about at least three inches, but I think someone will still buy these. Another skirt. Yes, denim skirt. Pack Sun, size 24. I might need to sell this myself because again, I don't know if my Plato's Closet will take them. Maybe the Buffalo Exchange downtown, but I don't really feel like going downtown. Oh, that's probably not supposed to be all the way open. I think it's supposed to be more like this side. So these are gonna be a no. Riders by Lee, mid-rise. Straight leg, very stretchy, dark wash. Size 12, so a good size. Very soft and stretchy, but you see that puckering? Sometimes I'll sell things that have puckering if they're like a really good brand, but those are not. Another pair of older American Eagle Outfitters jeans. Again, 
this was newer, it would just say American Eagle and they use a different font now. Um, but they tend to have the date tag all the way under the other tags, this little one. It's from 2017, so not too bad. These are the jegging crop. So a skinny cropped jean with the distressing. Um, I think they're probably supposed to be cuffed. But these are kind of cute. I might try and sell these because um, they seem really appropriate for the spring and summer. Size four. So this is an older pair of Lucky Brand. These are the Ava Skinny and they're a two, two ankle. Um, I think these are older Lucky Brand. I don't really know my Lucky Brand tags, but that kind of looks older. But they do look maybe high rise, skinny, release 10. Maybe they aren't that old, just based on style. I might attempt to sell these. I usually don't like to sell Lucky Brand, but if I get it in these boxes, I do try. Because there are people that do like Lucky Brand. I do really well though with their leather pieces, like their shoes and their purses. These are a Toby jean. Toby, I don't even know if they're around anymore. I remember when I was in like college, freshman year of college, I got a dress from them online and that's like the only experience I've ever had with them. Um, but these look to be maybe a mid-rise. They're a size 25, a lot of small sizes in this box, I will say. Skinny distressed. I don't think they're supposed to be cuffed because I think they have a, a step hem, but I guess if you don't like that, you can cuff them. Or maybe someone tried to do that themselves. I don't know. I'm going to have to look into them. But yeah, distressed, skinny. I still sell skinny. I'll do it until no one buys it anymore. I wouldn't pay up for skinny nowadays, but if I get it in these boxes and I still think they're cute, I will sell them. So this is a pair of Zara jeans. They're US six. And I know these symbols mean something. It's like either a square, a triangle or a circle. And I think they correspond to being like a loose fit, a normal fit or like a tight fit maybe, I don't know. Um, but these are actually really, really cute. Button fly, again, black wash, straight leg raw hem. Zara is really popular on TikTok, but I had not had good luck selling it in the last like two years, but I don't think I found Zara denim in a long time. This is 100% ecologically grown cotton. I said the size, right? They cut out the inner tags, which I'm not surprised about because Zara's tags are very annoying, but this doesn't have like a style on it anywhere that I see. Um, but hopefully I can find it. But yeah, size six. <laughs> Pair of Bowden, like cargo, not cargo. Oh, I think some these were some sort of khaki-like pants. Like this is not denim like cutoffs. I don't think they're meant to be this way. They're a size eight long. So yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, I do like selling Bowdoin's like cuter dresses and sweaters and stuff, but these, no, no, no. Here are free people. I do really poorly selling free people jeans, to be honest. These are size 26 regular. I got a really cute pair once uh, and they're still in my closet of We The Free jeans. I probably have them list too high, but they're like really, really cute. So. I don't know. People haven't even been sending me offers. Pair of skinny black distressed jeans. Um, I might list these myself, especially if I could find a model photo with the OB number on the inside. Um, but if not, I do think Plato's Closet will take those. They say they're looking for jean shorts right now because I follow them on Instagram, but I feel like they'd still be buying jeans because I wear jeans all year. This is not your daughter's jeans. It's been a long time since I've sold a pair of their actual jeans, but these have, oh gosh. It's like they hit all the bad stuff at the bottom of my second box. A lot of wear there. These would have been an eight petite, so they would have been a no for me anyway. All right, two more pieces if you stuck around this long. Thank you so very much. All right, we got a pair. These are squeaky. <laughs> Forever 21 it says US 28, so these might be a men's jean. I don't know, it's been, oh my God, that sound is awful. It's been a while since I bought in Forever 21 denim, but I don't think they size them that way. So these might be men's. Cute, light wash, ripped jeans, ripped overall jeans. I'll probably try and list these myself, but again, I could probably send these into Plato's Closet as well. I will probably list them as a women's 28. All right, and then our last pair is a pair of high rise, 10 inch higher rise, skinny, skinny Madewell jeans. <laughs> if there is one style of Madewell jeans that I do worse than anything else with, it's the skinny skinnies. 
These have a weird smell. <laughs> High rise, black wash, a lot of black wash in here. I wonder if that means it's not selling well for thread up. Jeans, these seem to be in like really, really good condition. I usually do best with Madewell's jeans that are more like pleated, baggy, have a little bit more going on for them. These are from their spring 2016 collections, a little bit older, but again, really good condition. Definitely less jeans in that second box that I'm excited about, but still a good amount that I will list, which is very nice. I'll put up on the screen how many I decided to list and how many I received. Usually when I'm doing these, you can usually see my listings as I'm doing them if I have decided to list any, but yeah. So let me know what you guys thought about these boxes. I'm actually extremely happy. I got a ton of brands in here that I actually do like to sell in a lot of styles that I'm excited about. That's one thing with the denim boxes is even if I don't get great brands, sometimes I get really good styles of less expensive brands. So even if I have to list them for $15, if they're cute, they will sell. But I actually got cute, good brands this time, which I'm really happy about. I usually get these boxes about once every two to three months just to help me restock my denim because I do so well selling it. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really happy about these. And ooh, yeah. Let me know what your favorite pair was. Mine was the Goldie jeans. I cannot even lie. I hope you guys have a great time sourcing and selling, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.